Morning, Charlie, and good morning to you as well. Now, it's a fine start to the day here at Wimbledon, and I've got some good news for you as well. You may have heard in the news over the course of the weekend that Rufus the Harris Hawk, whom we had on the programme last week, was taken from the back of his car, but he has been found, and we'll be talking to his owner, Imogen Davis, and Rufus will be with her later on this morning at 8.15. Now, by then, it could be rather damp, despite the sunshine at the moment, because the forecast for Wimbledon today is a wet one. We've got light rain coming in during the course of the morning and it's going to be more persistent especially later afternoon and into the evening and I can tell you as Sally was saying it's a cold start to the day so if you're coming down don't be fooled make sure you take something warm with you. For many of us today it is a cloudy day and we are looking at outbreaks of rain. Now into the southwest it's been raining overnight the rain now moving away from Cornwall but you can see it right the way all over towards Hampshire and the Isle of Wight through Bristol and into the west of Wales. The rest of Wales at nine o'clock cloudy with some low cloud at that and misty conditions and for Northern Ireland although it will start dry there'll be a fair bit of cloud around we can't rule out some drizzle and later on we'll see some showers. The northern half of Scotland though getting away with a fine and mostly dry day the south's got some spots of rain and also some spots of rain across the north of England. A little bit more rain as we head into the Midlands and then we run back into the band of rain heading back down towards the Isle of Wight and that's drifting eastward. So initially across parts of East Anglia, the Far East and parts of Kent, it could well stay dry. But it won't stay dry all day because that band of rain is moving northwards and eastwards through the day. And behind it, although there will be some brighter slots, equally we could see some sharp showers across Northern Ireland, East Wales, the Midlands and North East England. And some of them could be thundery. So feeling cool generally, but feeling cool if you're stuck under the rain or the showers. Now overnight, you'll find the bulk of the rain will move away. It will be drier, be a lot of cloud around, and it's also going to be a relatively mild night. But by the time we get to tomorrow, we're back to square one. Another area of low pressure coming into the southwest will introduce some rain, and that's going to be moving steadily northwards and eastwards. So although in some central and eastern areas it will start dry and bright, the rain will come along later on. Once again, it's the northern half of Scotland that's going to see the best of the weather, but it won't be quite as cold tomorrow as it's going to be today. And for Wimbledon for the next few days, well, for tomorrow we've already seen there's rain on the way, so play is likely to be interrupted. It's the same story once again on Wednesday and on Thursday it's looking rather showery. And in fact, Susanna and Charlie, the outlook for this week is rather unsettled. We've got rain or we've got showers at times right the way through. Oh dear, Carol. Thank you very much. Thank you.